Welcome guys. Today we are going to do a restorative practice that will focus on one pose, but multiple variations of that pose. This restorative practice is going to be a little bit different in that we're not going to hold the poses for three to five minutes. We're going to hold each pose for one, maybe two minutes, because this is meant to be a 10 minute restorative practice. So that means we're going to need to get started rather quickly, but I don't want that to make you feel hasteful. We're still going to be calm and centered and easily come in and out so that this is very restoring and generating for that kind of mm, balanced, blissful state. All right, so what you're going to need today is simply your mat. You don't really even need a mat if you don't have one. And a blanket. And you don't even need a blanket if you don't have one. So this really is a practice that can or cannot use props. So if you don't have a, a typical yoga blanket, this is not, you know, a yoga blanket per se. It's a nice, thick, sturdy blanket that you can use. If you need help with props, we have a video for that. Um, I'll go ahead and link it up and below so you can do it. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is on our mat, if you can find the center point, and we're going to put the blanket, what you're going to do is you're going to roll it up so that it's just kind of flat and just gives about an inch, maybe two of lift. And then I'm actually going to do mine in a third, but it depends on what you want. want. And I'm going to put it right here in the center of the mat. And this is the trickiest part, is that we're going to put our hip, we're going to do legs up the wall, and we're going to put our hip all the way to the wall and then we're going to shift so that we slowly come down and we inch our way to where our bottom is on the wall and it might take a few shifting points to make it feel good. So just take your time getting into legs up the wall. Your feet are just kind of flexed and hanging, but there's no momentum. There's no flexion that there's no uh, exertion is what I'm trying to say. No exertion. And you're just kind of letting them be. There's a gentle bend in your knee. Hands are facing up. And we're just coming back to our breath. Noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. Finding the quiet, finding the stillness, finding the calm. Coming back to the body just a bit, we're going to shift by bringing our heels together and finding a butterfly position. So knees are out. If you need to support your legs, if that feels comfortable to you or needed, go ahead and bring your legs to the outside of your knees or your thighs so that you find that support. And just letting it be Letting that gentle stretch of gravity come through. Again, there's no effort in this pose. We're just letting the body be, letting gravity do the work. Finding that deep sense of stillness and rest. So if you find yourself tense, breathe stillness into that area or go back into a position that feels good to you that you can just find that rest. I personally am feeling tension in my shoulders so I'm just going to relax them a bit more, put my hands on my belly, 
shoulder blades down the back, and breathe into that space. The effort here is on the stillness, finding quiet, acknowledging any thoughts that come up and letting them simply pass. Coming back to the body, we are going to shift our legs back up the wall. We're going to bring the right leg just gently opening it and then finding the stillness. You'll have to hold it up, coming back to the center. Opposite leg opens, finding that gentle pull. We're gonna do this three more times. Left leg comes up to the wall, we find center. Take a deep breath in and out. Right leg finds that open position. We find that gentle stretch. And we come back up the wall. Once again, left leg opens. We find that pause. And we come back up the wall. Last time, right leg opens. Find that gentle stretch, holding it with our arm. Back up to center. Left leg opens. Find that stretch. Inhale, bringing it back up to the wall. Finding that stillness once again. Once again, acknowledging any thoughts that came up and the quiet. And just like a bubble, kind of popping them and then letting them pass. There might be a lot of bubbles and that's okay. Can bring our hands to our stomach and let them ride the wave of the breath. Legs up the wall is great for anyone who uses their feet a lot or their legs. If we have a heavy day of walking,
coming back to our breath and back to our body. Taking a deep, deep inhale in and out. Right leg will find a right angle. The left leg meets it. Putting our hands on our thighs, we're going to gently roll to our right side. Finding a field position and gently and slowly bringing ourselves back up. Finding the seat of our butt bones, wiggling into that center position. Eyes remain closed, hands facing the ceiling, receiving energy, finding space between the ears and the shoulder blades by bringing them down the back. Core is engaged so that our spine is nice and tall. Chin is slightly forward so that we can feel from our base bone to our crown of our head this nice line of energy. Finding these last few breaths in our practice Acknowledging all the work that we've done just by resting. One final breath here as we bring our hands to heart center. The light in me acknowledges and sees the beautiful light in you. Thank you for joining me here on your mat together sharing our energy space through the interwaves. <laughs> Namaste, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And of course, if this is something you enjoy, please subscribe to our channel as we provide as much self-care practices as we possibly can so that we go out into this world sharing our love and our light from a place of centered, balance, grounded, with joy. Thanks guys. We'll see y'all soon. Have a great day.